Boss DJ is an amazing simple DJ app and in this short video I'm going to show you all of the features and settings. So when you first open the app this is what it's going to look like. This is our only view mode. There's not multiple view modes like other apps like DJ Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to know is how to load up songs. So in the top left or top right we have little plus buttons. You could press that and we have our music sources. Yes, there is streaming services available. Well, streaming service because the only streaming service available is SoundCloud. You could still DJ with millions and millions of songs if you have a SoundCloud Go account. I wish they had Tidal because that's my favorite, but at least we get one. And then the rest are going to be music that is on your device or in your files. They don't give you any free music like DJ Pro and I think EDJ Mix does, but you could still use the music on your device or SoundCloud. So this is what it's gonna look like up here. You could scrub through the track with these waveforms. These are not active waveforms. You can't scratch with them or adjust the track like jog wheels like you can in DJ Pro, but it's nice to see a visual representation even though it's not super detailed like other DJ apps. The middle here, you can record, but if you're using SoundCloud, it probably won't let you record because of copyright issues. And then here we have our record decks or jog wheels. They kind of look like a mix between record decks and jog wheels. So there is a tape line there. And then you could scratch with them. You could do spin backs. And I was quite impressed. These are pretty well programmed jog wheels. They work very well. I tested every DJ app. And this one is one of the best with the touch controls. Next are going to be our BPM sliders. So you could raise the BPM lower the BPM and what I really like is you could see the BPM like plus five or minus five in the slider a really cool use of space they have a lot of these clever uses of space which helps because we only get one view mode next is going to be up here if we press this we are going to access some of the more advanced features open it up and then we have we have cue points what's really cool and something I haven't seen in other apps is you could do auto cue so auto cue and it will automatically set cue points for you for your song so you don't have to. And it does a really good job. It made the cue points pretty much where I would put them, like where the song first starts going, the last drop, the beginning of the song. Really cool feature, and I am excited to see other DJ apps incorporate this. And then there's an edit button. You could move these around, and then you could delete them. Next is going to be our effects. There are a lot of great effects, but you can only use one at the same time. So you choose your effect here, and there's there's a good amount of them, but not a huge amount like other DJ apps. Uh, so we could set flanger, and now it's going to be a touchpad. So you could do, it adds like a high pass and a, or a low pass filter to it. I like these touchpads. You could kind of go to the beat with your finger. And then if you want to lock it in place, you press lock. And it will stay there. Really, really great way if you found like a part in... Uh, if you found a spot in the high pass, low pass, or whatever where you wanted it, really cool that it has that. Next is going to be our samplers, and there are some really funny samples like this one. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's a lot of really funny ones. You could actually record your own directly from your device's microphone, which is really cool. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? And then each side you get samples. You could choose a different pack for each side, so you could get the most. <laughs> And if you were wondering, you can use controllers, but a very limited list, the DDJ200, DDJ400, the Vestex Spin 1, which I was excited because I actually have a Vestex Spin up there, but it was the, that's not the same one. So it, I couldn't connect the controller, but it says you can. So over here, we're going to have our volume sliders. What I really like is they put the levels in the volume sliders, great use of space. And it's kind of weird that they're all the way to the right. Usually they'll be in the middle mixer section, but still works well and a decent size. Now we have uh, our mixer section down here and they give us a filter, lows, mids, and highs. High pass, low pass. And you could adjust the frequencies like that. And what's really cool is if you double tap, it'll bring it back to the middle. Really great way to use the touch controls. And then down here we have a crossfader. I like how it changes color. So blue is all of deck, the right deck, green is the left deck. And then there's a feature if you just tap the middle, you could do a cut to the middle. Really great feature for doing scratching and cuts. We have a sync, gonna bring the beats to the same BPM and align them. 
a temporary cue, choose where you want in the song, set your cue, pause, play. Now, if you press the settings button, here's where you can control the gain, the master, and there is an auto mix and another way to record. And if we go to advanced settings, so right now, if I press this, it won't do anything where it says no pre-queuing device, but when you attach a headphone splitter like this, you could actually use headphones when you DJ. So you could DJ professionally with just your iPad without a controller and use your headphones. So now we could split it and you'll see these icons on each side. So you could choose where you're going to hear the headphones from, which deck. There is an end warning. So if you're, if there's only 30 seconds left, it'll start flashing. So now you know that you got to find the new next song to mix in. Great. Great security feature. Auto gain. It does. It didn't have it on when I first started the app in DJ Pro. It automatically puts it on. But I would recommend keeping it on because now if you're mixing, you have to press the setting button to get into the gain. I wish they gave us the gain controls like in the middle, but that's how you do it. But the auto gain seemed to work great. So I'm going to leave auto gain on. That crossfader jump, you could change it to the opposite deck. So now it'll be right deck, left deck, right deck, left deck, depending on your DJ style or a specific DJ trick that you plan on doing. We could adjust some parameters in our auto mix, but you can't change the transitions. I wish you could. And then Ableton Link, you could use multiple apps at the same time by using Ableton Link. And if you want to learn more about Ableton Link, check out this video over here. Thank you.